Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in Birmingham within one hour. Thank you for joining me and I'm sure you're aware of the story that we've been covering over the last few days with the incidents that occurred at One Extra, BBC One Extra at the arena in Birmingham. Upon breaking the story of Crept being slashed, potentially stabbed during an altercation and then the voice notes emerging and now also denials of being a grass etc etc it's all got really out of hand and in Birmingham it escalated even further when the Birmingham Mail decided to print a story alleging that the Johnson crew was linked to the stabbing of crept in this nightclub and also the theft of the cadet chain the initial story that the Birmingham Mail broke was the rapper crept was reportedly stabbed and robbed by members of a notorious Birmingham gang so bear in mind no Johnson member was was arrested no one's been charged or anything in relation to this so they've just said this off one person's point of view or opinion an insider they claim no other details spotted him talking to a rival backstage apparently on Saturday night at the arena in Birmingham the gig was dramatically halted at 10 p.m. when London born crept whose real name is Cassio Johnson because then they speak about get money gang and they got in touch with Zimbo and I asked him to just clarify a few points and he has basically said that there was no Johnson member in the club at that time. Yo, here what? This is a message for Birmingham Live and the journalist Matthew Coyle. Yeah, here what? Listen carefully. My name's Simeon Moore. I'm second or third generation Johnson's crew. I was at fucking One Extra. I was at One Extra Live, yeah. The report that you reported is fucking false, you cheeky bastards. Stop reporting false, um, false information and trying to ignite, um, old fucking gang warfare. that's exactly what you're doing trying to ignite old gang warfare. i'm not saying that there ain't no there wasn't no there's not there wasn't no um vibes but let me show you something any member of the johnson's or anyone affiliated to the johnson's crew that was there left early i made sure of that yeah and i was there on my own i went there on my own so just because i'm saying i'm third or second generation johnson that, that don't mean i ain't got brothers from who grew up in the burbs and no one associated to them as, as i'm sure you can imagine the police have got all the details of every single person they believe to be associated to any major gang in the city the same way that the matrix do in london just on a different scale we have the gang unit we don't have trident we don't have matrix liverpool and london have them and if you think that somebody could get attacked and there'd be a big ruckus in this place with cameras etc and the police wasn't wouldn't go out the day after and arrest them then you're sadly mistaken uh, zimbo is as he said himself is a third generation Johnson crew member he come up in the worst war that actually occurred in Birmingham he where we lost a lot of people and there was a lot of shootings rivalry between different gangs in the city and Zimbo was right in the thick of this and talking about machines when you hear me say ATM been there done that he may be dead with a crazy head I do this fuck these other rappers I'm a clapper you can ask the gang unit probably 16 when I do my first shooting light up a boy then keep it moving straight knocking noodles never been a poodle more like a pit bull if you ain't heard the poodle right in the thick of this he served time alongside it. he's lost people close to him and then a few years ago Zimbo just turned around and just said no more I don't want to do this no more this isn't what I'm about anymore I want to change my life I want to do something productive and constructive and that's when he released his song oh why which had a massive impact actually on the streets people was like surprised to see that Zimbo had changed his mentality oh geez like drastically on a big man thing who's roaming the street oh why oh why do the streets keep calling? Oh why, oh why? Mama can't stop them from falling. Yo, oh why, oh why? Do the streets keep calling? Oh why, oh why, oh why? He was one of the pioneers of Birmingham hip hop in regards to taking it nationwide. He collaborated with musicians from London. There was touring, going to shows, doing shows, which no one in Brom had really ever done. And Slash actually had a massive impact on Birmingham music and culture throughout the years. So to have somebody with such clarity to be able to come out and say that this Birmingham Mail News article is complete fake news there was like everybody had made sure that everybody had left associated to anything to do with it and why are the papers not approaching people like zimbo people that are doing something proper yo that 
I was at one extra the other day, fam. And when all the foolishness was going on, there was a whole heap of foolishness was going on. Of young boy shit. When all that shit was going on, I could hear people saying like, why does Birmingham have to act like this? And it's so bad. And, and the after effects people are saying, oh, it's so bad, people are doing this. This person's bad, that person's bad. I think every, I think, I think everyone's saying that, and and even the people that were there, a lot of the influencers and that, I think you're like fucking rude, fam, and 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 cheeky. Because we're in a place where they're playing gun, gun, um, I heard gun lean about three times, fam. You know what I'm trying to say? Like you lot think this shit's entertainment, fam. This shit ain't entertainment, blood. I don't know this thing as entertainment, fam. This is a reality for me. This is a, this shit that you're seeing. This gang, this shit, this gangster shit. That's the reality of it. People get fucking stabbed up, shot dead. This is what goes down while everyone's dancing and doing all that fucking bullshit. Like Zimbo, he's, he's got his own business now. He's got Dats TV, which they talk about constructive panel debates, which I don't understand why no other media channel is promoting. Why are they not promoting constructive, having a conversation about the effects that things have in their life and stuff? At the end of the day, Zimbo has been talking the same sort of stuff that Nipsey Hussle fans have been credit Nipsey Hussle for saying he wants to see young men come off the street and become entrepreneurs, businessmen. He doesn't want to see them hustling a little ball of a coke to get by and make them feel like they're actually doing something in life he wants the kids to do more than we did and that's totally understandable and he has involvement with schools he does a lot of youth work so much constructive shit and he's studying as well it's mad to think what people sometimes feel like if you leave the gang what on earth am i going to do like zimbo's not gone into hiding zimbo hasn't left the, the city zimbo is out here active in the community trying to give back he's trying to give back and he's also got music out and that link up tv charge it to the game and also Big Boy Stance as well. These are the two latest uh, drops that he's just had where he's telling stories. He's telling stories from the streets and he's giving a constructive message. And the same way he says in the part two of the video that I'm going to show you where he talks about the, the BBC not taking responsibility for a culture they want to indulge in. The same way I used to say, Drill can't get banned. No, they're not going to ban Drill. It's all just publicity. It's all just a stunt. For example, record companies are signing Drill rappers up left, right and centre. It's one of the hottest genres to come out at the moment and in actual fact the record companies will probably be more likely to sign you if you've had music banned as opposed to if you hadn't controversy has never been a bad thing in music so at the same time but we do need the balance we need somebody out there to be able to say but look this is actually the consequence to what is happening and that is what we don't have right now all we have is everybody just talking about the, the benefits the pro no one's talking about the cons of the street they're just talking about the pros so we need this balanced opinion the industry needs to be listening to people like Zimbo who have lived this life, have actually come from the streets and now actually want to help in improving it. You can't change, you can't stop a music, you can't stop a genre, but you can definitely help improve it. And at the very minimum, just start to understand the dynamics of what's going on in, in the cities, in the music, in the genres. Do you know what I mean? If you're going to have an event with a lot of different types of groups there, you need to make sure the security is impeccable. So yeah, so I really want to hear what people have to say on this and big up Zimbo. Big up Dats TV. Go follow them online. Go and subscribe to them as well. They've supported me from early on in the channel and I really appreciate that. So thank you for joining me tonight and all the best to Crept as well. Rest in peace, Cadet. Thank you. I think it's probably good that we shed light on him. Alright, go on. He's got the nigga. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Which one? Um, you know, the car sits. Scott. I knew it. Where's plug? Where's plug? plug in there? Where's plug? 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 Where's pl